How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Manager Mode 2.0 series here on FIFA 16. It's episode number 59. And we're chugging along here in the month of October. Last episode, we finally stopped our uh, two-game losing streak where uh, the first match did not go well. We got absolutely pounded by Yeovil Town. 5-0. And then uh, we actually did rebound against Accrington Stanley there in a 2-0 drubbing there uh, to cut that win streak, losing streak to two. And I was pretty happy with that result, considering we were at home and, you know, we rebounded from a tough loss. So Newport County find themselves in fifth place after 13 matches, a 6-4-3 and three record, uh, 16 goals for, 15 against. Um, yeah, our defense just isn't as good this year uh, as compared to last year. And offensively, we're still trying to find a spark. A lot of injuries have had a lot to do with that and just missing wide open chances. But, I mean, we're still in a good spot. We're not out of it. It's early yet. We're still in the hunt. I mean, that's all we could really hope for. Uh, Wickham are starting to pull away a little bit, which is a bit concerning. They've got a pr pretty good gap on the rest of us already by five points. But um, first up, we've got Oxford United, um, who are right below, a point behind us in the table here. And uh, out of all the teams in League Two, we judging by from our team sheets, we're both two-and-a-half-star quality sides. And... Uh, not a, and everybody else is like either a one or a two star team. So this is probably going to be our tough this matchup to date. And Oxford's no joke. They're no pushover. Very good quality side. Off to a bit of a slow start. So maybe we could take advantage on the road at their ground and hopefully, uh, you know, leap, push ourselves up a little higher up on the table. And then we'll follow that up with a match against uh, Steven Inch, who are at the very bottom of the table. You can see. They are having a horrendous season. No wins, two draws, and 11 losses. Only scored seven goals. So they are they are in a world of hurt right now. That should be easy pickings for us at home. But uh, let's get on to the Oxford United match. And then once we're done with the matches, then we'll simulate up to the end of the month and look at the uh, youth scouting and try to decide if we need to sign more players and what we need to do there. So guys, sit back and enjoy, and I'll see you on the pitch. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me. League Two football for you today. Yeah, delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Two important goals last time out. Really good. Line up for the home side. And we put it out here, Alan, as a 4-4-2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think to begin with, it'll be interesting actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. This is how the visitors will line up today. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. Does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. Uh, two teams featuring in the classier section of the table, Martin, high up. And uh, no surprise that they're there for me. They've got some good players in both camps and uh, I'm looking forward to a really close contest here. There we go, breaks on now. Cunha gonna have space here to move with this ball. Inside, Osadembe. Strike it first time, off the, off the crossbar. Oh my goodness. What a strike. Ball's whipped up. Header volley. Oh. Is that Harrison trying to hit it on the volley, not his head? Take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Just hit it. Struck it a little too hard there. Oh, no. Ah. They got around the defense here. It's a low cross in. And it's a goal for Oxford. Oh, wait, the flag was up. Oh, my gosh, that was such a late offside flag. Pearson, was he off? Oh, he was. Good call by the linesman. Oh, I thought they buried that one, but nope. Trouble breaking it down here. Oh, Tumasi on the run. Tumasi, take the shot. Oh, just wide. What a great run there from Tumasi coming in. Just needed a better. Oh, so close. Here they come, Oxford. Good cross in. No, no one's there. Ends up going to far side. Oh, that's good cross in. Header. Bachman's there. Oh, brilliant through ball. 
Finds the man here, Roof. Crossed in. Oh, Parcel clears it off the line. Could have been a goal there, but Parcel has stepped up big. Oh, Nieto's through. Nieto, come on, finish it. Nieto ah, couldn't beat the keeper. What a through ball to him there. Nieto found some space there, but he couldn't get the shot on target. Freya. Back inside, right footed. Oh, Nieto. Oh, Nieto nearly poked it in. What a finish there. Edwards crying for the ball, but Nieto was in the right spot. He nearly snuck it in. Keeper was on point there. And there's the final whistle. Oh, well, we canceled each other out in this match. It ends in nil-nil. Uh, both keepers played pretty well, I thought. And they'll probably go, match will probably go to their keeper. Um, they're probably a little gutted here. They didn't get any offense, but I think both sides had opportunities. Nieto got some shots there. He almost got one there in the second, late in the second half. It, I mean, great match. I mean, really entertaining. Just back and forth. Both teams just couldn't put a dent in that scoreboard still. So it ends from Oxford. Nil nil. Man of the match goes to the keeper, Slocum. Slocum. Um, yeah, he deserved it. He kept us off. We had we had several chances on the net there. Um, we could probably get fortunate that we drew nil nil because. They had the goal disallowed there on that offsides. That had his beat, but um, all I said, the back line did a pretty good job. Parcel, man, he's just led the back line there. Great job for him. He's doing great. Jardim had a good game. Nieto, he continues to impress, man. He can he, he can defend as well as almost poach some goals there. I'm a little disappointed with those Adembe and Harrison not getting more involved. You think with their size, it'd be more of a factor. Uh, Edwards had a great game coming back. His first game back to play a full match along with Cunha, and they both played pretty well factored. Um, Freya coming on stunk, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey, you know, it's the way the game goes. But uh, we got one more match here to end the month against Stevenage, so hopefully we'll have better luck there. Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it. The heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Well, it's 4 4 2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. Well, more often than not, we're looking at teams that shape up this way, Alan. Yeah, such a popular system. 4 2 3 1. It gives you a lot of stability, and if you're front four, as you might describe them, are good players, it's a really potent system. Alan, let's have your thoughts on the home side in this match. Well, it's not always easy fulfilling expectations, but they've done that by being on the fringes of those promotion places. And if they can just step things up second half of the season they will they will be in a really good position come the end oh my gosh tackle him oh that's a good ball in Williams sends it wide but the story is just the dirty tackle there in the on the outside of the box and no call but Williams just sending that one wide there we go find the big man there it is, Collins. Oh, it's Edwards, a strike, and that's a goal. We break out in the counterattack, and Edwards scores for Newport County as Thompson lays it off to him. It's 1-0 here. The home crowd going nuts here as the Welshman gets his, I believe that's his first goal of the club. Edwards is through, but he lays it off. Beautiful little black heel flick to Thompson, or Edwards trailing there and he just hit it with power far post past the keeper oh good finish oh 
It's through Pat. The strike. Bachman with a brilliant stop there. And the strike. Oh, Edwards again. Nearly looked, found his second one there. He was lurking. Just hit a little too hard. Ball's crossed in. Beautiful. Header. Ah, oh, Gordon's able to snag it. As Pearson got to the far post and nailed that one. Header. Oh, Tumasi. You got to bury that chance. He was wide open. Just couldn't get his head to it. He's falling backwards, though, to be fair. But mm, could have been. What could have been? Oh, that's a good cross in. Pearson gets rid of it. The volley goes, just goes wide. Nice effort from the volley. Try to hit a low driven shot, but it's just going wide. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Pat, oh, they look to pass it. Tuomsi with the big clearance there. Oh my goodness, they nearly broke it through there to tie it. Tuomsi, if he wasn't there, that would have been a sure goal. Crossed in. Clear it! Oh my goodness! It's a late equalizer here. And that was just a failed clearance there, and Steven Inch have tied it. Let's take a look at it again. Tomasi, it fell on his head, but he didn't do anything with it. And everybody was scrambling for the ball, and it fell. It was a great pass back by Weepeel to get his foot to it back to the striker there. And he just powers it home, top shelf. Edwards, deflection. Ah, Gordon snagged it. Surely that's it, and that's the whistle. It ends in a 1-1 draw. Wow, what a disappointment. These guys have not won a game all season and allowed 47 goals coming into this match. And we let them off the hook with a point. Oh, I, I think Ted's going to get criticized for this one because we should have won this match. Hands down, we were the better team. But the wet conditions and a failed clearance on a corner led to us losing two of the three points that were rightfully ours in this one. <sighs> one won the final. So the match ball goes to Okimo, the left back. And he had actually a really good game. Did he get an assist? He did not get an assist on that goal. But, man, he was tough to beat down there. Gave Was giving Harrison a hard and Gallagher a hard time on that. Guarding the target, man. Us, on the other hand, gosh, dang it. I, it's so disappointing. Look how well we played well in this match all the way up and down the pitch. But to give it up on a late corner or to fail clearance by Tumasi just didn't clear it, and then it fell right to Depot there, their striker, and he absolutely buried it. Heartbreaking. I mean, we had the points in the back here. This is a match we should have won, so this one may sting a little bit. I'm sure Ted's going to get criticized for it. But I thought, um, all in all, I thought we played very well formation-wise. I thought it was very solid. I didn't see too many mistakes. We were... We had the match under control, but that's just disappointing to let that one slip away like it did. But let's get to the end of the month here and see our youth scouts and see what they found here in the month of October. Here we are. We're looking at the Youth Academy as it stands as November 1st. We've got uh, the Irish Frecklington, 56 overall now. He's gone up a little bit, 76 to 90 potential. So that potential has dropped a little. But it's still looking like a very good technical gift cam. Uh, Jacob Houston's up to a 59 now. 74-94 still looks to be a very good goalkeeper. Uh, Westwood, the other Irish CDN, defensive-minded midfielder. 59 rated now. 82-94 to 94 potential. And then Ross O'Toole's up to a 53 now. 74-88. to 88. He's losing some potential now. But, you know, he's 15, so they've got room to grow here. All right, here is the monthly scout report. This is the fourth month. As you see, Jordan Barry is now 16 years old. Take a look. So I need him at 50, and ooh. He must have just turned 16, because, yeah, well, yeah, he's not, he's close, but he's not quite there yet. His potential is still really good. He's, I think he'd still be a 
very good goal player, but we'll see. Uh, Cotton. Yeah, not looking impressed there with him. Connor Hurd, a midfielder, 45 to 53 at 16. Uh, again, he's probably sub 50 playmaker. Uh, potentials, probably silver, maybe even bronze. So, not a bad little player, though. Ryan this lane, 43. Wow, 18. Yeah, I'm. Or 18. I'm. Yeah, that's no. All right, Martin Medine, 46 to 56 at 16. That's actually really good, but his potential is not the best in the world. Andrew Golson, yeah, terrible. Uh, Sam Lewis, 41 to 53 at 16. Nope, not interested. Craig Bidwell, again, not very interesting. Uh, Callum Daniel, nope. All right, ooh, Ted Randall. Wow, he's got a very good overall so far, but his potential is not the greatest. Silver potential at best, and I'm not sure. And Jake Galley, and another one. These two are about similar, but man, we really haven't found anybody with really good potential. I'm going to take a look at Ireland. That's always been a strong home. So Liam Tracy at 15. Oh my gosh. Look at that, 51 to 59, 79 to 93. That's platinum potential. We have to sign him. I don't think there's any question. We have to sign this kid. 15 years old, I mean, he's gonna be a stud. So we'll keep skit looking here. Daniel Finn, 45 to 55, very good. He could, you know, he meets the requirements. Gold potential, or gold to silver, I should say. Probably more silver, but he's a good defender, it looks like. Derek Cannon, no. Goalkeeper, not very good. Rory Mitchell, not very good. Uh, Anthony Melanie, no. No. Not bad, no. Clint McDermott, okay. Drog Miller, 49 to 61. Maybe, but I'm not looking for a goalkeeper. 44 to 58, 36 to 48. Yeah, that's not very good. And 35 to 49. So looks like our scouts now struggling to find players now with that really good potential in Ireland. Uh, Callum Nolan could be decent, but he doesn't have the best overall. So. We got to pull the trigger on this Liam Tracy deal. All right. So there is a look at uh, Liam Tracy there. Very good potential. 79 to 93. Um, besides Westwood, he's a very solid player. He's going to be a future star here for Newport County. But um, right now we're a little over budget for my academy. So because I only budgeted for four players at a time. So right now I'm thinking we've got a choice between we could send Freckleton up, but I really don't have a spot for him in the midfield. My midfield is pretty solid right now. I mean, he'd be a, he could come in and play, but I just don't have the spot for him. Um, Jacob Houghton, I was thinking of bringing up because he's 59 rated, and you know what? We could use another solid keeper in the works, so... Uh, we're going to call Jacob Hufton up to the first team here. You see he wants a two-year deal, first team contract. So I'm going to put him as a... I have to put him as a rotational player. So we'll put him in there as a rotational player. And we'll see what he's made of here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys, with the little news feed saying that our we got a future talent in Jardim. Um, we're going to wait and see what the contracts hold for us as we promote our uh, young goalkeeper Houghton from the academy up to the senior squad. Going to be interesting going forward. I thought this episode went pretty decently. It's a shame we drew both matches, honestly. But uh, we, we're still in the fight. But next episode is going to be interesting. We're going to have 
two cup matches, uh, FA Cup to start out with, and then we're going to do the third round of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So stay tuned for those cup draws, and I hope to see you guys around, and I'd like to thank you, everybody, for watching and subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot to me. You know, Keep liking and subscribing. really keeps me wanting to keep doing this channel for you guys, keep putting out group con FIFA content. So until next time, folks, I'm Ice 31 and I'll see you around.